If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Welcome back in, John McClain, a, re- a return visitor, so we must not have aggravated you too much in the past. Oh, I love being on, guys. Thank you very much. Good I know to have you. Baltimore is a great sports city, and I always liked it. I remember I used to go with Chuck Thompson. It shows you how long I've been sure. around. And I always thought one of the coolest things would be growing up in Baltimore, sitting on the porch, listening to Chuck Thompson call over the place. I did that. And I thought he was one of the best, <laughs> and I thought I was blessed when I got to meet him when he did the Colts. And, uh, and I feel bad for the Ravens because I just did my Houston station, and two of the, the morning guys had picked the Ravens, one against the Patriots and one, the other against the Packers. And I know how bummed the fans must feel because so many people thought the Ravens had a legitimate shot. So, um, so my sympathy goes out to all those Raven fans who experienced a great regular season. And then, of course, that frustrating loss to Pittsburgh. Hey John, uh, how did Houston, I want to talk about the Super Bowl real quick because we were talking before you got on the air about Dallas and how Dallas has embraced this Super Bowl, first one they've ever had. So they're you know, trying to put their best foot forward. Take us back, I guess, and now it's all hindsight, 2003. How did Houston handle the Super Bowl? Why haven't we seen another one? Will we ever see another one? Just sort of give me your, your thoughts on the, the Houston Super Bowl aftermath. The media got taken better care of at the Houston Super Bowl than any in history, mainly because I spent months lining up stuff, yeah. everything from strip clubs to <laughs> horse track to limo to free golf to parties to everything else. I like all had so many writers and, and broadcasters come up to me since saying, boy, I wish the game was back in Houston. I said, I'm not. Uh, after that, at the end of the of the period, I got on a plane the next morning to go to Pro Bowl with my wife, and I slept the whole time. We had dinner in Honolulu, and I slept another 10 hours. I was so worn out. But it was worth it because I wanted the media to have a good time in Houston. I don't think we'll ever get one. Reliance Stadium's a great stadium. It was convenient. But when you have this stadium in Arlington, that can seat close to 100,000, and they have more suites by far than anybody. In some stadiums, owners have to share suites. Here they do not. And you know, it's all about money. That's all they care about. They don't care about anything else but bringing in money, and this is number one. And then New Orleans is getting 85 million spent on the Superdome. So anything in the central time zone, I believe, will be Arlington and New Orleans, and we're going to get left out. West time zone will be Arizona. I don't think you will ever see one in California unless some city caves in and builds a new stadium. And, uh, of course, we'll go to Florida a lot, but uh, I don't, I'm not going to say it's not fair. Houston did as well as it could, could do, but I don't blame the league for wanting to come work to make the most money. John, the uh, Texans this past season, of course, the Ravens saw them in that bizarre game down there, the thriller that the Ravens wound up winning when it looked like uh, Matt Shaw was going to commandeer them to uh, almost an unthinkable comeback. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.